Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. It's Wednesday. And let's just see what's really happening in the market. I will just call this a quick update because uh, we saw also we did the analysis yesterday. And when I check, uh, we have some slightly smaller moves. So that don't really make any bigger change so i will just try to go through that very quick so on our economic calendar you can see that it's that day where we're going to have interest rates uh, from canada you can see here it's wednesday uh, around five uh, let's see we have also non-farm pay uh, non-farm employment change uh, from us three uh, quarter past three and Thursday, as you know, we're going to have jobless claims. Friday, we have NFP. So we have like not really aggressive news, but uh, interest rates and also NFP. I can say, yes, we are going to check uh, them out. So if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Like share with your friends. Your subscription means a lot. It grows the channel. Don't forget to share the channel. And some people, they can actually get that. And also smash it that like button. So for those who still want to be part of the team, here are our prizes. You can just scan this QR code or just WhatsApp me. And then you can uh, choose which service do you want to be part of. Then, yeah, we can add you in the team. So simple as that. So what's really happening in the market? Uh we saw the market was reversing this is dxy so it's dollar index what's really happening you can see that yes we are on a downtrend the market is going down uh, the market is pushing lower let me change that color let's use a brighter one you can see the market is going down so what we have here is the market did push the lower side created a support area now the market is going back here but when we check we have an area that we can call a resistance you can see that the market touched that area three times you can see that uh, that uh, i think is quite easy it's first second and the third one here so and while the market was reversing maybe you saw other pairs us pairs going trying to recover and that was aggressive. You can see what was happening here. Well, maybe uh, let's say Euro USD, GBP USD, they were all selling the time the market was going up. But now we reached this level where it seems like the market will be respecting. So it means maybe now it might be a time for the market to do what to reverse again. So if the market reverse, it means Euro USD, GBP USD we're going to see them pushing to the upset. Let's hope that the market is going to respect this area. If it respect that, yes, we're good. We're good to go. Then it means we're going to continue looking for buy on those positions. Yeah, now we are on GBP, JPY. What's really happening? If you still remember, I've been preaching about uh, the new trend we are actually on this new trend what's really happening is yes the trend is pushing to the upside we had a slightly break out there a smaller breakout but this is not the, the whole picture because we are still i think we are still on a very nice uh uptrend i will wait and see if maybe the market is gonna break if the market breaks this area i will say yes now we're getting out of that trend but if not it means we will end up adjusting this trends uh this trend we might have something like this something like that we might have something like that but uh it's still a bit confusing we, we can just wait for the market to do its thing because this trend was still very very we are still early in this trend so we need several touches before we see a proper move but then don't just jump on the market unnecessarily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, support line uh, from now on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait for the market. If the market breaks this area, then I will say no. 
uh, the market broke everything that we had then now we are going to look for that sell if not it means the market might create this as a structure and we might start to push the upside like that we have to think forward guys we have to uh, I think sometimes the market won't give us some clear structure from get go so we have to understand that oh sometimes the market will react like this you see so that is reversal that you saw on dxy or dollar index it's actually this and we are on a resistance so if that uh, on dxy the market pushes lower we will see the market trying to push the upside simple as that so let's push to the next one let's push to the next one so gbp usd quite similar to that here remember we don't really have a proper support here i just run this as i repeated several times so what we am going to do is let us just remove this so that we don't really get confused let's just remove this and what we know is yes we are on an uptrend but we're just waiting for the market to give us some proper structures we need some proper uh, structures that we can use going further so we are going to wait for a sort of reversals all those uh, moves they're going to help us to have a proper structure maybe at the end of the day we're gonna have a nice rejections that we're going to use to connect simple as that but for now is uh, what we see here is we are still on an uptrend we can see a support area there but when we start to connect our things they still don't really make sense so it means there is enough room for the market uh, to fill so we might see some rejections maybe consolidation but at the end of the day the market might end up connecting very nice and that's what we want we want that right we want the market to give us something yes we are on a bullish momentum this is actually a, a very aggressive structure so the market will try to reverse one way or another but at the end of the day we're gonna have a proper support area that we're going to use yes we are still on an, on an uptrend but the structure not really nice not really nice so now we are on euro usd please guys if you are part of uh, if you're watching this for the first time this channel for the first time just know that we actually send this analysis every day early every day so for you to not miss this update don't forget to smash that subscribe notification button just to get uh, that notification so what's really happening on euro usd you can see that yes also on euro usd we had quite similar structure to other ones uh, that we did like euro like gbp usd you can see we had some aggressive push to the upside also here this was a very aggressive push one way or another the market was supposed to do it to give us a very nice reversals so maybe the market will be respecting that area then we can have a proper uh, uptrend but i like this reversal obviously this will give a room for the market to do what to think about buying and it seems like this will be our next support area if you still remember i was still also complaining about that we don't really have proper structures but here it seems like the market will be giving us something and if the market give us a proper support we might end up having something like this something like that and we, we we can eat very nice we can eat very nice something like that and on top of there don't forget we have also a resistant don't forget that so yeah that's what i see on euro usd i'm still on uptrend unless if maybe the market tries to give me some crazy structures but even here this might be another area that we can look at the market created that structure so we can also use that so yeah that's what i see i'm, ex I'm still expecting to see the market pushing to the upside uh, sorry i'm still expecting to see the market pushing to the upside on euro usd maybe that will happen but what i know is since we have nfp we might see the market consolidate until friday that happens especially when we have nfp everyone is expecting uh to see nfp doing its thing some they will think they will, it will sell some they think it will buy some they are afraid so they just get out so that will just create this confusion in the market and at the end of the day the market will just range so be careful when uh, we are very closer to to trading high economic news so what's really happening here we are on gold uh, the market has been 
aggressively pushing to the upside you can see that we were on a smaller uptrend you can see that but the market came back again so i thought maybe this was an area that we uh, can wait for the market to break and the market did try to break there let me take that out so that you can see the market tried but at the end of the day you can see that the market did not really break that properly so for me to say we're going to jump on that sell, I'm still waiting for the market to break this uh, sort of a support area. Then I can say, yes, we, we are going to now look for that sell. If not, it means the market might just continue pushing to the upside. I like this reversal because that it actually clears every smoke that we had. So now we're back to zero. Now the market can move slowly and we might see a continuation of that but i think we're gonna get some nice moves especially on friday nfp guys nfp uh, that is going to uh, change the way we see these moves we might see the market going crazy but uh, as long as the market is still respecting this support i'm still bullish if not it means the market will be trying to push even lower simple as that so let's push to the next one which is us 30. yeah the market is creating some crazy bullish momentum, uh, momentum guys. On US state is also the same thing. The market was going down very nice. You can see that. I've been preaching about that for quite some time. So, but now we are on this aggressive uptrend. And I still believe we might still have, maybe on Friday, maybe on Friday, we might still have uh, that proper, proper reversal. So I'm trying to use a, a bit smaller time frame. Maybe we'll have some structures. So what I see here is I just see some consolidation, which we also smashed it. I think it's yesterday or day before that. Day before yesterday, the market was giving us some nice rejections. You can see there. So the market was moving like that. So we smashed this one here. I don't know if it's this or that, but we smashed one of, I think it's this one. We smashed this move here. But what I see here is the market is just consolidating, uh, which is fine. Uh, and it might consolidate until Friday, until we have those high economic news. If not, maybe we'll see the market breaking our resistance. Then we can continue buying as the market is on at uh, this uptrend. If not, it has to come around the support area. Then we can to, uh, take another buy. If not, there is another room for the market to give us a nice reversal. And if that happens, we might see a very strong sell and that will be welcomed by us and then so that we can have a proper uh, buy or a proper uptrend. What we have here, uh, I don't really I don't really like that, but what uh, I don't really control the market. So I will just wait for the market to do its thing. Maybe we will have something like that or the market will do whatever it wants to do there. As long as we, at the end of the day, we are going to get a proper structure. But if we don't really have that, just relax. Stay out of the market. You are not forced to trade. Stay out of the market. Maybe something will happen or better structure will happen. Then we can start to connect our dots. Then we can take trades. If not, just stay out of the market. Just relax. It's very hot. Hey, just relax. Huh? So what's really happening on, on NASDAQ? On NASDAQ, yeah, we did have a, a nice trade yesterday. We did smash this one. So what, what happened? What happened? You can see that, yes, the market was going lower previously. And I like the structure here. You can see we had a proper resistance where the market was touching several times. The market did touch this area several times. Two, four, five, five times. You see that? So, and that was quite easier for us to continue doing what continue selling and the trend was quite long guys it was quite long so but what we have now uh the market has to repeat the same thing we don't really have those touches so it means yeah they can still happen the market the, the market doesn't really have any way uh or any choice the market will end up creating something like that and if you don't really see that now just know that that will happen but we don't know when, maybe next week or next of next week. Just wait for the market to mature or the structure to mature. Then we're going to have that. So yesterday, yes, we did smash that fine uh, in the group. If you want to be part of the team, I showed you that you can just scan this QR code and then you can choose 
uh, the service that you want. Six months is $150. Uh, Twelve months, uh, $250. Lifetime signals is $350. And mentorship, if you want to learn to create your own signals, uh, is $250 simple as that and you can just learn and start to eat so what do we have here is i like the structure uh, this uh, support here that i've drawn is not really uh, official i just drawn it just to understand for you to understand that we might we are on an uptrend even if we don't really have that we might just use that just to remind ourselves that we are on an uptrend so we had a support you can see on top there we have a nice resistance so we did buy the market was a bit slower, but we still expecting to see maybe the market continuing with this uh, trend. I am still expecting to see the market to continue with the trend. Sometimes when we trade the fundamentals, I can say, you know what? Sometimes the market fundamentals mostly will follow uh, what we see on technicals. Like what we have now, I think I can say, I don't know what will happen on Friday. But with this type of a structure, with this type of an uptrend, I am expecting to see a continuation of this trend. Regardless uh, of uh, 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 F NFP or any, any, any economic news that we have, I'm expecting to see a continuation of that trend. But we will see that on Friday. We will see that on Friday. But once you start to understand that, uh, you will understand that sometimes fundamentals, yes, we have to know about them, but it doesn't mean uh, that fundamental dictates everything. Just look here. Uh, let me clear that. You can see that uh, from July, right? From July. Or maybe I can start here, but it's fine. Let's start to say from July to November. From July to November. Uh, it's July, August, September, October, November. Let's say it's four months. So on that four months, just look at the structure. We had some proper, sorry, we had some proper structures going down. You can see that. So the market was doing what? The market was respecting what we had here as, as a structure of a downtrend. Do you see that? So all these four months, we had uh, FOM interest rates or FOMC. We had CPI every month. We had unemployment claims every month. We had GDPs. We had retail sales. So many uh, economic news. But at the end of the day, if I can say, show me where there was some economic news, you might fail to show me. Why? Because the structures were just respecting our technical structure. So it means it just blends in. If maybe it finds the market doing going down most likely the market will end up pushing lower or if maybe there is reversals the market might not even break the resistance but the market might continue with the trend so don't just get confused with the fundamentals so what my point is if just because we had fundamentals it doesn't mean that maybe we're gonna see an aggressive change no the market might continue with the with the trend the market might sell a little bit, then at the end of the day, the market continue with the trend. And when you check that after three months, you won't even point where there was maybe NFP. So trade wisely. Don't just say tomorrow it's NFP, then you start to change and you see the trend is going up, then you start to sell and do something like that. Unless if you trade the spikes. But most likely, even if you trade the spikes, just continue with the trend. That will help you a lot a lot so thank you very much guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends this is kenzo extra out forex see you on the next one bye